Welcome to Focus News. First, the headlines. Young Nigerian kings meet and strengthen synergy as His Royal Highness Dr. Apollo Chu condoles with the Oba of Legushi in Lagos State. Now the news. From South-South Nigeria to the North and beyond, he is known as a bridge builder, an advocate of national unity, strengthening cultural ties between tribes and kingdoms, irrespective of cultural variance, mostly in a country that is ethnic sensitive. But against all odds, he journeys far and wide to felicitate with the joyful and console with the heartbroken, just to prove that Nigeria can be won. The recent visit of His Royal Highness Dr. Apollos to the Egbere Mirokuri Leme River State to the southwestern part of the country, precisely Lagos State, to condole with the family of the Oba of Elegushi, His Royal Majesty Oba Sahid Elegushi, on the demise of his mother in law, Alaja Ramuta Ashebi Oshodi, is a demonstration of love across board as final prayers were observed as part of her interment process and burial tradition as a Muslim. Flanked by other prominent traditional rulers to include the Oba Oloiwu and the APC gubernatorial candidate of Lagos State, Babajide Shewu Ulu, the Egbere Merokori was seated amongst young promising Nigerian kings who understand the current trends of bringing innovations into traditional leadership. Dr. Apollos to pray God to strengthen the family and people of Elegushi with the fortitude to shoulder their loss as she remains irreplaceable in their heart. He described the gathering as a platform for national integration and urged other traditional rulers to make our time to visit one another mostly in times as such. I also sympathize with the family for the great loss of the family woman is very young. Even though she's old, her company doesn't know what she play in the family that no other one will, person will play. And the that is a welcome that people will always miss when they think about when they find that space empty they will miss that. So my own message to the family is that we have to take courage. Death is always real. Seeing that it's real, it's part of life, it's a part of woman uh, uh, existence, uh, society. They will always come. They will be what we owe ourselves, then. we will encourage ourselves because of crime, lamentation, and our stress effect can develop into her situation. But if they develop into her situation, we should also remember that we have children. They have children that they have to take and look after. So, invariably, is their courage, is the courage that the children will also have and the community will also have. The loss is not a loss to uh, uh, a alone. The loss is a loss to his own entire kingdom. You can see the turnover of personalities. That's your idea. Both lower and mighty are there. And what does this establish? Establish a calm for national unity. That's what just happened. We have to miss, miss up and interact and you know, introduce ourselves and see we're working forward to see how we better society and Nigeria as a land, uh, as a whole because we need national unity, we need to believe on ourselves, we need to integrate ourselves, we need to de demonstrate this energy and uh, improve improve our synergy so that when you see me, you don't see me as Nigerian data person. You see me as a, a, a Nigeria. You see me as a school brother South South, South Pana. You don't see me as a Yoruba person or a Lima person. You see me as one. That's what I saw. On the ground, and that also demonstrates the level of his own relationship with the woman person. Because if it's a wrong person, I'm telling you, people will actually disregard his invitation. That was and so keep on with your good work, and the Lord bless the family. Have peace, sleep well. Amen. The spirit of the lost one should go in peace, Amen. Amen. and may his blessing remain among you. In his remark, the Oba of Elegushi, His Royal Majesty Oba Sahid Elegushi thank Degbere Merokuri for the visit and describe his late mother-in-law as a mother to all. I can't find a word to use for her because she's like a mother to me. You know, uh, you have some kind of in-law that will talk to your mother. I remember a baby play when I got married. Before getting married to her, I thought her, we were very close, there is nothing I can tell her. 
how to uh, our last moment on net. We are close, she look after all my children. Uh, there is nothing we do that we don't carry along. She's like a pillar to me and my wife, but what can we do when God says the time is up? Um, just for us to continue to pray for her, for our Almighty Allah to let her have the place and the journey. And to continue to rest in perfect peace. Amen. Amen. And may the and may the Almighty Allah um, console the family because it's my mm -hmm. especially my wife, those in the mother and your sister pray it. Uh she's still very shocked. Right. Yeah, you know, just have to tell her uh all things belong to Hannah. So that's it. Okay. All she's speaking was the Oba Oloiwu of you. His Imperial Majesty, Oba King Abdul Rashid Adewale Akambi, who also enjoined the family to stay strong. The loss to this family is my loss. So it's a great loss for me. But there's nothing we can do because um, uh, we can only be powerful that she has uh, led a great, great life. And, um, you know, in her life, she has seen her own children doing better than her, which uh, in life, uh, she has a daughter that is in the of this man, and uh, this is a great uh, achievement that she has. We love her very much, we want her to be around, but when God says, the God that holds the soul loves her more, so God wants her somewhere else, so today, uh, me, I haven't achieved something that she has achieved. She has been 62. I am not 62 yet. I pray I'll be 62 and I'll be greater. Mm -hmm. And I'll be, <coughs> I'll pass that age. Mm -hmm. That is our prayers. Mm -hmm. Where she has reached, we have not reached. It. So we want to live longer and I will go and pray to be 62 and be over 62. So that we don't go on my right age. That's all on the news.